In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Dear grade 9 students, remember that it doesn't matter how slowly you go as long as you don't stop. Welcome to this new video lesson from module 8. Today, we will start with the cover page, then lesson A, read A and B. Students book pages 83 and 84. We have three lesson objectives to achieve today. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to predict the topic of module eight through discussing the cover page. Recognize some words or phrases related to the reading text. Label three dialogues after skimming them. Now, let's start our lesson with the cover page in your student's book, page 83. As you can see here, we have six pictures. What do these pictures have in common? I think all of you said sports. That's correct. What sports do these pictures show? The first picture shows volleyball this one ice hockey the third one golf this picture is for swimming this one running and the last one baseball how can we relate these pictures to the title of the module all the action of course you know that doing any kind of sport requires a great deal of action. Now, let's discuss these questions together. Look at the sports in the pictures. Where do people play or do them? Match with the words below. Can you think of any other sports that are played at these places? Court, field, track, pool, ice rink, course. How active are you? In your opinion, which are better, individual sports or team sports and why? Please pause the video and try to think of these questions. Let's start with the first question. Where do people play or do these sports? You can play volleyball on a court. You can play ice hockey at an ice rink. You can play golf on a course. You can go swimming in a pool. You can go running on a track and you can play baseball on the pitch. Now let's move to the second question. What other sports can be played or done in these places? On a court you can play badminton, basketball, tennis, handball and squash. At an ice rink you can go figure skating. On a course you can go horse racing. In the pool, you can play water polo, underwater rugby, or hockey. On a track, you can do athletics, go cycling, or car racing. On a pitch, you can play football, cricket, rugby, hockey, and American football. What about this question? How active are you? One person can say, I'm quite active as I go to the gym three times a week. Another might say, I don't really like sports, so I am not very active. What about the last question? In your opinion, which are better, individual sports or team sports and why? One person might answer, 
I think team sports are better because it's good to be in a team and work with other people towards a goal. Another person might say, I like individual sports better because I prefer to rely on my own abilities, compete at my own pace, and take full responsibility when I fail. Now, let's move to another part of our lesson. And this part starts with this question. What sport do these pictures show? As you can see here, we have balls, net, racket, and a court. All these pictures represent tennis. In these pictures, you can see some of the most famous tennis players in the past and at present. Can you recognize any of them? I'll help you. This is Serena Williams. This is Andrea Agassi. This is Rafael Nadal. And here we have Roger Federer. Now please go to your student's book page 84. Pre-reading student's book page 84. 1. Read. Before we start reading, let's learn some new vocabulary related to the lesson. How do you feel about these two celebrities, Nasr al atiyah and Mu'taz Barsham? I think all of you admire them. The verb admire means to respect and appreciate somebody or something or their qualities. For example, many young people admire these celebrities because of their hard work. Now look at this girl here. How does she feel? She feels enthusiastic about something. This means she is showing strong interest in something. For example, she was very enthusiastic about joining an art class. Have you ever won one of these? It's a trophy. A trophy means a cup or other prize given to a person or a team for winning at something. For example, Demi won the trophy for the most improved swimmer. Now, let's explain the difference between these two words, match and game. Match and game are both words to describe sports events that teams or individuals take part in. In American English, game is used more often. You can say soccer game, basketball game, baseball game. Then, in British English, where match is more common, you can say football match, cricket match, boxing match. However, there are some sports which use both terms. In these sports, you have to win a number of games to win a match. For example, in tennis, you have to win four points to win a game, six games to win a set, and three or five sets to win a match. Now, let's go back to student's book page 84. One, read. Exercise A. Read the dialogues quickly and label them. As you can see here, we have three tennis balls. In each tennis ball, you have a phrase, before the match, during the match, and after the match. We are going to use these three phrases to label the dialogues. Here you can see the three dialogues that you are going to label using the phrases we have read before. Now, let's read the dialogues together. Module 8 all the action. 8A. 1. Read. 1. So, what were you saying about Pinkman lifting the trophy? What a disappointment. He's never played like this before. He let down all his fans. I've never seen such a terrible match in my whole life. What a shame. I know. 
How embarrassing! He won the first game with those aces. How did he manage to lose? Pinkman was playing so badly after the first game that I was glad when the match was over. What a waste of time and money! You can say that again. Two. Phew! We made it to our seats just in time. Yeah, look at how many people have turned out. Andy Pinkman has so many fans. Well, who wants to miss out on such an important match? <laughs> Not me. I'm so excited. I can't wait for the match to begin. There he is. Let's cheer him on. Andy, Andy, yeah. Three. Did you see that? What a player! Unbelievable! Another ace. That was such a fast serve that Wilson didn't have time to react. Pinkman is so talented. Another point. That was so amazing. Wilson's in serious trouble now. There's another big serve from Pinkman. He's playing so well. One more point, and that's the first game. It's over. That was brilliant. What a game! Remember, my dear students, that the task was to label the dialogues before, during, or after the match. What did you choose for dialogue number one? If you chose after the match, your answer would be correct. What clues do we have in this dialogue that justify this answer? Here, as Doc said, I have never seen such a terrible match in my whole life. This implies that the match has finished. Also, when he said, I was glad when the match was over. Was over here means finished. What did you label dialogue number two? If you labeled it before the match, your answer would be correct. How can we justify this answer? James said, I can't wait for the match to begin. This means the match has not started yet. As for dialogue number three, it's obvious now that you should label it during the match. There are many clues in this dialogue that show us that the match is still in progress. For example, another point. He's playing so well. One more point and that's the first game. Now let's go to exercise B. In this exercise, you are going to read the dialogues again and answer the questions. Let's read the questions together. Number one, which phrases show that the two men are enthusiastic about the match? Number two, how do you know that the men admire Pinkman? Number three, why were the men glad when the match was over? Number four, which phrases show that the men are disappointed? You can pause the video, go to your student's book, page 84, read the dialogues and answer the questions. I am confident that you were able to answer all the questions correctly. But let's check the answers together. In question number one, you were asked to find phrases that show that the two men are enthusiastic about the match. Remember that enthusiastic means showing strong interest in something. So in dialogue two, you can read, who wants to miss out such an important match? I'm so excited. I can't wait for the match to begin. In dialogue three, that was brilliant. What a game. All these phrases and sentences show that the two men were strongly interested in the match. Question number two. How do you know that the men admire Pinkman? The answer is, when they see him, they start cheering him on. They also exclaim, 
What a player. Pinkman is so talented. He is playing so well. Question number three. Why were the men glad when the match was over? The answer is because Pinkman was playing very badly after the first match. Here you can read Pinkman was playing so badly after the first game that I was glad when the match was over. Question number four. Which phrases show that the men are disappointed? We can read different phrases that express disappointment like what a disappointment he let down all his fans what a shame how embarrassing what a waste of time and money now my dear students we have come to the end of our lesson today thank you for watching study hard and keep safe